Yo! What's up, everybody? Uh, Carver Moses with you. Welcome. Time to do 2018 Heritage Baseball. Four box break number 31. All right. What's up, uh, Tim the Chef? All right, Tim. Well, let's see what we can get you, man. Uh, while you're at it, while you wait, how about you uh, check out our website too, man? RipCityCards.com. Check us out. Got some nice stuff there for you. If you've never made a purchase on your uh, on our website, you could save, uh, you know, 15 bucks. All you got to do is visit our site, RipCityCards.com. In order to get the $15 discount code, which you can only use on our website, you do need to register for an account. Simply click login at the top right, then click register. Fill out all this information, and uh, we'll email you a $15 discount code, which you can only use on our site. Get into our daily giveaways, our weekly giveaways, our monthly giveaways. Uh, every day we give away a $100 break credit. Uh, in order to qualify for that giveaway, you do need to make a purchase on our site, and it does have to be from uh, 12 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. All right, so that's from 12 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. If you make a purchase on our site during that time frame, you'll be eligible to win up to $100 in break credit. So register for an account, folks, and get into uh, some more breaks here. You know, eBay's awesome, but so is the store. Double the awesome and get into some more breaks. Let's have some more fun. Well, it's not 15% off though, Tim. It's $15. It's 15 bucks. And like I said, it's it's only for for spots purchased on our website. Not through eBay. You know, our giveaways and and stuff like that are not applied to our eBay breaks. It's only offered uh, for those on our on our website. So Tim, if you have made purchases on the site, man, I'm pretty sure you, you got that, did you ever get that $15 uh, discount code? Like I said, you do have to register for an account in order to get the code. Man, I haven't seen Heritage in a while. Oh, man. I almost forgot this thing existed. There's still some really good stuff in here. I don't know if the Otani 101 has ever been pulled out of this. There's Mike Trout autos in here. It's real nice good stuff in here. And like some other products, you know... You're not really looking for the autos in here. Uh, I do remember there's a crazy stupid amount of variations that come with this. I think I still remember it for the most part. Like, I remember we were doing these so much that I got to the point where, like, I don't even have to look at the back of the card. I could just look at the front and be like, yep, that's a variation, such and such, whatever. Because the only way to really know is to look at the code on the back of the card. So how's everyone's weekend going? You know, it's Sunday last time I checked, so, you know, it should still be the weekend for some of y'all. My weekend is over. I would totally, has, I was totally going to ask Jason to uh, cover for me, but I believe he's doing something with his mom. He actually asked me to come in yesterday, and that was not happening.
Yeah, he told me about it, Fitz. Hence, why I'm here. By the way, Fitz, uh, I'm pretty sure he did the eBay breaks early last night. Were you here for that? Do you remember what time he did it? I mean, because you know, I, I honestly have half a mind to do the same thing. I just feel like dookie. Oh, 11.30? Oh, pff, man. I'll suck it up. I'll stay. The hell? I thought he did I thought he did it like around like 9 or 10 o'clock or something like that. Yeah, man. Can't, can't leave the baby unattended. Gotta go be a pops. Plus, only, only Jason can do those kinds of things. Yeah, I have not yet paid my dues. I'm currently in that phase, you know, paying dues. Was it really, Fitz? That's not good. Well, I hope that does not happen today. Let's see what we got here. You gotta be careful of some of these cards. Got the deco there, the deco edge, judge, four out of thirty. I think that's an action shot. I believe so. Many Machado Orioles. Code zero one, I believe, is the action shot. You mean on breakers or? or because I know you like to hang out on breakers, so I was going to say, if, if that's what you're talking about, <laughs> there ain't never any. Well, maybe with Jason. Oh, yeah, I forget that factor. The CBJ factor. And some of these need to get randomed because they have multiple teams. There's a patch for David Wright of the Mets. If I remember correctly, and uh, I just glanced over and can confirm, there is one auto or one relic per box in this. Checklist, that'll go to the Cubs. for those error cards we got a deco here Corey Seager Dodgers 30 out of 30 really on the tube hmm that's no bueno but you know that aside though all the definitive we had we moved which is awesome. You know, I was, I was hoping to, to, to rip some of it myself. But, you know, but Jason got all greedy. I was like, nah, son. I'm going I'm to get all this sold myself. And then he went and did it. Cody Ballinger Deco for the Dodgers. That's number 9 out of 30. These Deco cards are... Something. Let me see like an error card or something cool here. Well, these are uh, one of those things we need to random. The flashback cards. Oh, it's been a while since I've done these. And thank God Jason put them in as uh, four box breaks instead of half cases because 
we would be here a while. They are nice cards, though. It's been a while. It's been a while. Like I said, I used to be able to tell like variations and stuff just by looking at them, but it's not exactly like riding a bike. I do have a refractor though for the Phillies, Aaron Nola. Number two, uh, five, six, nine. On what? On on definitive. Nice. Now we need somebody to go ham on the uh, on the elite we got. Not to mention the museum. We need to get that thing out of here. Man, Josh says he's bought into a few breaks and a personal, my man. Well, there is the top loader, which will open at the end. Josh, listen, I, I be knowing, man. They call me Cardboard Moses for a reason. Not just because I lead my people to the promised land. Well, actually, that's exactly why they call me the Moses. No, I mean, you know, there's other reasons, too. Like, you know, sometimes I can read minds. One of uh, the Moses' lesser-known powers. Yeah, Josh, I see you putting in work on museum, man. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I'm checking the store now. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. You see the driver randoms at 54. Museum is at 15. What teams were got? The Marlins and the Mariners. Thank you, Josh, my man. Appreciate it. Sort that. My man also giving me a hand with the Elite. My dude. Put that there. Let's see. Bengals, Bucks gone. The Steelers are gone. Well, that's already been accounted for. Okay, so Elite 3, full caser, is at 8 teams left. Very nice. My man Silverman picked up the Brewers in Museum. Thank you, my man. Get this uh, cleaned up here. I gotta put that gold standard up on the screen. Pull you an Ichiro. Enough said, Josh. It shall be done. Just gotta feel the break. Josh, I see I owe you a pro debut. Let me make a note of that.
I love post-it notes. Vikings are going. The Bills. No, not the Broncos. The Bills are going. Browns are Browns are going to take that off already. Cowboys, Titans, Eagles, Giants. Yep, everything's only up and up there. In the elite half case, there's 15 teams left. Twenty four spots left in the elite half case random teams. The stadium club stuff is done. That definitive is done. And I do believe that museum three boxer is done as well. Yup. Hey. I think I just got me an all day. Yo. Gotta execute on this. Because I have two loose boxes in the museum there. And I see the Yankees still up there. So I'm gonna get uh, I'm gonna get creative. Ah, so you bought both Marlins and Mariners for the Ichiro. Dang, the hunt is real. I gotta summon the powers to to to, to make that happen. Let me see. Just four, eight, ten. Coolio. All right, let's get this out the way. Let's see what we got here. See, like an error card or something cool, man. Deckel for Gary Sanchez, fifteen to thirty. Got a little chrome action here. Rookie Stars, Reese Hoskins, Nick Williams. I think that's his name, Nick Williams. Number to 999. It is Nick Williams. Hey, look at that. Like, this, like there's also error name cards. So, got to be on the lookout for that. I think they call Noah Syndergaard Thor or something like that. Flashback cards. We got a random Muppet Mania. Hey. 
A rookie Deckel for Reese Hoskins, 23 out of 30. Felix. Excuse me, you guys. Oh. I love tea. Like, if somebody made me, made me make a choice between, like, tea and coffee, as far as uh, hot liquid beverages are concerned, I would probably stick with tea, as opposed to coffee. You don't know, get me wrong, I love coffee, but freaking love T2. Ah, come on. I want to see auto. Carlos Gonzalez patch for the Rockies, though. There you go. A little something. I'm going to move this over here. So that I can uh, stack these cards a little bit better. A little Chris Ohm. Ozzy Albies and uh, Lucas Sims, I believe. Brave rookies. To five six nine. All right, for the D backs, I'm going to guess this is Paul Goldschmidt. Deco. Hey, twenty nine out of thirty. Learning some baseball here, big guy. Mm. I found an error card. This is the color swap. So you can see this one's in white, this one's in yellow. Lindor, color swap error for the Indians. That's pretty sweet. That's it for that? Yeah. Excuse me.
What's up, David? There's some nice stuff in Heritage. I will be honest though, it's not my favorite to break. It takes a little time, especially if you, you know, actually take the time to look for the error cards and variations and stuff. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I just like seeing autographs and stuff in breaks. I'm, I'm new to this. I've only been breaking for about a year and a half and I don't collect cards, so I don't have any knowledge of products and things of that nature only products that I've been ripping for like the past year and a half uh, and I do remember doing heritage it's nice stuff it just takes a long time and really tough to hit really tough but when you do hit it's usually something pretty awesome Dude, there's so many variations of this product, it's ridiculous. So like I, like I said earlier in the video, the only way to know what the variation is, is to actually look at the code on the back of the card. You know, and some of them you can catch, like the, the, the color variation, the, uh, they also have like the name, they, they have different names, like nicknames and stuff. For the rookies, it'll have like, uh, a different year on there there's a there's a lot of variations there's the action image there's a, there's a lot there's a lot this one for the Giants Buster Posey to 69 that is the Giants Buster Posey Got a deco for the Royal Salvador Perez. 13 out of Hmm. I think this is an action image. I believe the action image is code zero one. It's been a while, but I do think this is a action image variation here. For Aaron Judge Yankees. I think here's the uh Yep. 
patch for the Giants, Buster Posey. Chrome here for Paul Goldschmidt, D backs. This is number to 999. Got that flashback card. Uh, David, as far as that's concerned, dude, uh, we do have a list of all variations and stuff like that, the codes and whatnot. So my sorting team does know what to look for. So any variations and things like that will get sorted and top loaded, of course. For the Astros, Jose Altuve, 2 of 30. You know, it, it would take us forever if I was to go through each single card, you know, looking for every variation, man. So, in the interest of time, I obviously, we show every single card. Uh, but any variations and things like that that I may miss, my sorting team is uh, trained and know what to look for. And, of course, those variations will be sleeved and top-loaded because they are very rare in this set. I don't think there's I don't think I've ever seen an autograph in any of those uh buybacks. I think that's what that is, the buybacks. Or in the top loaders for that matter. Alright, this is the fourth box. After this we have Revolution Basketball number 18. And then our eBay breaks will pick up at midnight. Starting with NC Baseball, number 7. Then Infinity Football, and then Dominion Basketball. After that's done, we'll, you know, either keep breaking stuff on the website, rimcitycards.com, or we'll call it a night. But in between uh, the next eBay breaks, we are going to focus on the store. Elite football full case down to eight teams. A half case of elite football down to 15. Museum uh, half caser is at 14. So a lot of breaks close to filling. I do have a personal box I'm going to do. Pro debut baseball for my boy Joshua. Not to mention the daily giveaway we got to do as soon as the eBay breaks are done. Dang it, I see another relic in there.
see what we got here. Last box mojo. I need to get my baseball knowledge up, man. I don't know any of these dudes. Deco for the Angels. Mike Trout, one of thirty. Flash back. Got a rate of that. I mean, there's certain baseball names I know, of course. Thanks to uh, Sports Center. That boy Otani. A nice base card of his would be sweet. Even a base card of his would be nice in this set. They're pretty rare. There's a patch for the race, Chris Archer. Chrome here. Come on. Chris Davis A's. Which is number two nine nine nine. Yep. Quite a few things to random when we wrap this up. Deco for the Red Sox. Who's that? Ben and Tendi. 17 to 30. Red Sox. And the last stack here. See, I see what you're saying, David. But again, I, I, don't, I don't even know what to look for, man. I know some of the variations by heart, but the traded fours. You got me on that one, buddy. I'm going to have to look the list up as far as the codes and whatnot for everything. And let my sorters know to check the codes on pretty much everything. Which is why this is such a, a nightmare to do. Because of those codes. It takes so long to, to sort. Clint Kershaw Dodgers. I believe this is uh, action. Yeah. Zero one. One of the codes I do remember. Uh, everything ships in, in our eBay break, Salt Hill. Just so uh, you know, so you don't have to ask me that moving forward. Everything ships in our eBay breaks. If you hit, of course, you know, if, if you don't hit, then you do get the one vintage card that you get for winning the auction. Uh, but everything ships in our eBay breaks, man. All right, that is it for the break. There are still quite little things I need to do, some randoms. Like these cards, for example. Some have three to up to four teams on there. So we do have to give them to one. Even if you have 
like let's say there's three teams and you have two of the three teams on the card it doesn't go to the majority owner it has still has to get randomed if you own all the teams on the card then obviously it's yours but if you have the majority of the teams it doesn't go to you by default we have to random it amongst everyone all right let's see what's in these uh box topper buybacks business We have Jerry Adair for the Royals. All right. Yep, there's magenta backs too, David. We, we got to give you a job, David. Uh, Chico Ruiz of the Reds. Pretty cool looking card. And any dude named Chico, and it's on the card, pretty sweet. All right, what else we got here? These box toppers, which we're likely gonna have to random. All right, so we have the Marlins on the back, and then Angels, Tigers, Royals on the front. So as you can see, there's four different teams on this one card. Angels, Tigers, Royals on the front, and on the back, we have a baseball extra of the Marlins, Giancarlo Stanton. So that needs to get random amongst all teams. And what do we have here? So we got the Cubs on the back, Rockies, Padres, and then the Dodgers. Right there, right there. So, of course, got to random this as well. So, let's begin with the random, shall we? Let's start with that. Gonna roll a die here. We got the number six and two, number eight. So, we're gonna go eight times in our randomizer. Let me go ahead and pull that up. All right, there's our list randomizer. I'm going to start off with uh, the then and now cards. Fairly simple. There's a team on the left and there's a team on the right. It's going to go to the, either the left side team or the right side team. All right. And since uh, it's kind of hard to do a true random with just two spots, I'll make it four spots total. Left has twi uh, two spots. The right has two spots. To make it a little bit more of a true random. Going eight times in the randomizer. Here we go. The top spot wins. Seven and eight. Eight times right side on top. Meaning these then and now cards will go to the right side team. So this will be Marlins, Red Sox, Mariners, Marlins, and the Marlins again. Let me write that down. All right, there's that. Now there's the one with three teams. There's a team on the left, middle, and on the right. Okay? So that's how we're going to do this. We have the left, center, and the right. All right, here we go. Yeah, that's the thing about these. Uh, this set is you. You really got to look at the codes in order to know you don't have like something really nice on your hands, which is honestly this. This is a nightmare to sort. It really is. It takes at least three hours to go through four boxes which is insane all right we're going eight times here seven in the money shot eight eight times is going to the right side team so the right side team on these cards we have rays on this one 
A's, Yankees, Royals, Dodgers, D-backs, Brewers, Rangers, Nationals, Brewers, Nationals, D-backs, Marlins, Brewers, Rangers, Dodgers, A's, Rays, Royals, and the Yankees. Make sure I write that down. And now there's one with four teams. There's a left, a center, and two teams on the right. Let me see if there's, you know, there's one with like multiple, like this one has four different teams. So, let's go to the randomizer. So we have left, center, then we got right top, and then right bottom. Going eight times, here we go. And the money shot, eight. Boom, eight times is going to the right top team. Okay, so the right top team would be this one. So this goes to Rockies. We got Royals here, and then Rockies up here. Ah, oh, no problem, David. No problem, man. You know, it just it's real like like you said, it's it's difficult in the sense that in the only way to know if it's a variation, a short print, or anything like that. Well, you know, for some cards you can look at the card and be like, okay, that's an action card or a color image error or whatever. But the only way to really know is to look at the code on the back of the card. You know, and if we had to go individually through every single card, then this break would take a long, long time. It is a tough break, but that's why I'm here for it, baby. All right. So now let's do the uh, the box topper. So on this one, we have a left, center, a right, and a back. So let's go ahead and do the random. We got left, center, a right, and a back. Here we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the money shot. Eight. Boom. Eight times is going to the team in the center. So on this one, Padres and Tigers. That's not the only thing we got to do. There's also the flashback cards we need to random. Which are these. So let's go back to the list randomizer. And now we're doing it between all teams. <sighs> Excuse me. Do the old copy and paste. Who's it? What's it? Here we go. When eight times, top team will be receiving the flashback cards. And the money shot eight. Eight times going to the Mets. Lock that down. All right, so Nixon, the Aquarian Exposition. Uh, Muppet Mania, 0 to 200. Those flashback cards going to the Mets. All right, let's do a little bit of a recap here. Let's start off with the patches. Chris Archer Rays, Buster Posey Giants, Carlos Gonzalez Rockies, David Wright Mets. Uh, there were some numbered cards here. Chris Davis A's, 999. Goldschmidt D backs to 999. Posey Giants to 69. 
the uh, Brave Rookie Stars, number to 569. The Philly Rookie Stars, number to 999. Aaron Nola of the Phillies, number to 569. And this is a Manny Machado action image card. Code uh, 01, which if I'm not mistaken is the action image. Which also leads me to these. Clayton Kershaw Dodgers, code 01, action image. Uh, Aaron Judge Yankees, it has a code 01, which leads me to believe this is a Yankee uh, action image. We have buybacks here for Chico Ruiz Reds, Jerry Adair Royals, and a color swap error for Francisco Lindor the Indians, code 02. Now, of course, I probably missed a bunch because, as you can see, the only way for me to know if it is uh, a variation or a short print or whatever is to actually read the code on the back of the cards. Uh, I did a, I feel like I did a fair job of catching some of them, and I probably missed a bunch. Luckily for us, I show every single card. One and two, my sorting team is a. Uh, What's the word? Trained, and they know what to look for in this car. In these cards, we do have. I uh, actually have a sheet that I need to pull up that has all the variation codes and whatnot. So they will be sorting through each card individually, reading for all the codes, making sure that all that stuff is uh, sorted and top loaded, uh, sleeved and top loaded. All right, because in this set, that is what we're looking for here are the variations and, and all that stuff, all right? No autographs in this thing, unfortunately. We only did four boxes. In a whole case, there's 12 boxes. In one case, we may get two autos, three if we're lucky. Uh, so the last eight boxes that are in this case, there's probably two, three autos lurking in there. Uh, but yes, that is it for the break. Thank you very much. We'll get it out to you.